include everything. All right, guys, we are back in the landing page project from Hacksaw Academy. Special thanks to them for sponsoring this video. And if you want to check out Hacksaw Academy's projects and get your own 14 day free trial, make sure you check the description, the annotations of the cards, and uh, let them know that I sent you just by clicking the link. It is appreciated and uh, we'll help them sponsor more videos in the future, which means more great content. So let's get started. We're going to be jumping into landing page, building the header. So uh, we're going to looks like pretty straightforward use HTML to build a header for the landing page um, I kind of messed up in the first two sections so I'm a little excited we're gonna be doing a lot more CSS than I'm typically used to so let's uh, kind of summarize what it's telling us here um, basically your HTML tag is the tag uh, opening HTML tag and closing HTML tag that everything goes within of the HTML document. We then have the head tag where you put things like the name of the title, maybe an icon if you want that, um, but mainly just um, resources such as CSS, JavaScript files, fonts, all that sort of stuff. Now um, let's go ahead and change our HTML here and we're gonna create a body tag. Now the body is typically where you put all of your content. Uh, and so we're gonna have uh, a tag, an H1 tag here as well. And if you remember correctly, the H1 tag is actually um, the largest of the headings and then it goes all the way down to H6. So you'll see this H4 tag we're about to create. All your feline needs take care of. Uh, I think they mean taken care of, but again, this is just a beta. So, uh, you know, we'll let, we'll let that slide a little bit. And then this is the next one where I messed up. So we'll get started here. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and display these in line. So we're gonna target the H1, and you can target multiple uh, multiple tags or multiple IDs or types by just putting a comma between them. So maybe in this case, we're gonna target H1 and H4. Let's go ahead and zoom in real quick before I forget. And we're gonna say, look, we want H1 tags and H4 tags to have the same exact styling. So let's go ahead and display them in line. And now you'll see that these H1 tags by default normally on different lines are now on the same. So next we're gonna go ahead and build the header. So we're gonna create a div within our, our body here. And let's go ahead and close this div. And you know why we're at it? I don't think we're gonna be touching JavaScript so we'll go ahead and close that as well. Um, you can see right here, if you didn't notice that you can uh, move these around as well. Uh, really helpful, kind of uh, reminds me of CodePen, uh, which everyone should be familiar with to a degree. So we're creating a header here, just a div class called header, and now we're going to target that in our CSS here. And um, if you remember, when dealing with classes, it's dots and IDs are hashtags. I just made that mistake the other day, so I am just going to let you all know not to make that. All right, so uh, we're going to set the color here. Now you can set color in a various ways. They have us doing it in the, um, I think it's called the he hexadecimal. You could also just do it in the words. So like we could do black for instance, um, but let's just go ahead and put it back to it. And you could also do RGBA or RGB. So let's go ahead and do color. Now this color, you may think, oh, well, we're setting the background. Co the background here is what we're setting. And in color, we're actually gonna set the content here. So um, such as the, uh, H1 so that's what we're targeting here within our div class so you'll see right here some other examples blue green red white gray and black if you these are kind of the more uh, common ones and they tell you to go to colorhex.com if you're trying to uh, find out what it is that you're looking to target so now we're gonna add some more CSS and we're gonna go ahead and target the body and because the body is a built-in element of HTML uh, we don't need to use a dot or a hashtag or anything like that because it's not a class or a ID. So we're going to give it a margin of zero. So you'll see by default, margin has a little bit of padding right here, on, or the body has a little bit of padding. So we're going to take that away. We don't want that. Um, and then we want to change the font family. Font family is just like uh, anything, like a, uh, a cursive or a... Um, you know, Times New Roman, whatever you want. So we're gonna give it the, the uh, built-in browser cursive. There's about 10 or 12 different types of fonts that are built in and um, cursive is one of them. Um, 
All right, next up in our in our uh, HTML, we're gonna create a div here called header inner. So we're gonna start uh, nesting our divs here. Set this equal to header dash inner. And of course, make sure you don't make any mistakes like I'm making right now with your quotations. I'll go ahead and close this div slash div. All right. So it looks like we're just um, creating a class here that we're going to be doing some stuff too. So let's jump back down here. And typically when you're doing your CSS, you want to kind of keep it in order. So you'll see right here we have header. So we want to put right below it, header dash inner. Um, that way we can kind of know what's targeted. In, target. Even though these aren't necessarily identically related, um, if it was header and then header dash inner, I imagine this will be helpful down the road because they're, they're relatively close and probably somewhat similar. Um, padding, so we're gonna add padding here of zero and then 20 PX. So pad, oops, don't save it, bad habit. Uh, so padding is gonna basically, padding is on the inside of the element while margin is on the outside. So you'll see right here, we're gonna give a little bit of margin, zero auto, and we haven't really done anything with this yet. So it may not look like it's doing too much. And then we're gonna give it a max width of 800 pixels. So we don't want it to be any bigger than that. Header dash inner, header dash inner. And then uh, you'll notice setting padding. This is shorthand for 0, 20, 0, 20. Um, or the equivalent of padding dash top padding dash right, padding dash bottom, padding dash left. So uh, there's a lot of shorthand CSS and that's basically what it's telling you about here. And uh, it's kind of important to know. So if you see anyone else's CSS, you'll kind of understand how it works and why it does what it's doing. Um, so now we're gonna go ahead and add a border to this header inner. So we're gonna go ahead and do border and we're gonna add a one pixel border that's uh, of the type solid and with the color, uh, whatever this is. And so you'll see right here, we now have this color red right here. And it'll kind of show you that the, the div is working kind of nicely. So very nice, we can go ahead and rerun that, nothing to rerun. It's going to go next step. Now CSS inline block, Matt, is something you're gonna be using quite a bit. So let's go ahead and um, uh, in our h1 and h4 elements what we want to do here is change uh, do they want us to change it yep so they want us to change it from instead of inline to inline dash block all right Doo -doo -doo. So add the following to your CSS panel. So now we're going to actually um, target the h1 and h4 individually. And again, you're gonna wanna keep it next to each other uh, just so that you know what's going on because you wanna jump around and find out why your CSS, CSS isn't working. So we're gonna add 20 pixels to the right of the H1. Oops, keep on thinking this is like code pen, so like auto save. Uh, so, and then we're gonna do the same thing for H4 in which, except we're gonna add font dash weight normal. So that's gonna make it less bold and uh, font dash weight is basically the thickness, how how intense you want it to be, and there's a couple different parameters for that. If you want to look up more about font dash weight, go ahead and check up the um, the section on W3 schools. It's uh, a lot of great CSS in there. Oh man, and I think we finished. So we did that pretty quickly, uh, nine minutes, and what they estimated to be forty. So, uh, so far you saw us building a header and using a lot of CSS. And this is really something I've been liking about uh, Hacksaw Academy. Is it's actually showing us relevant CSS that you'll be using when you design your own website. So I hope you guys have been enjoying this Hacksaw Academy landing page. Uh, up next, we'll be actually building out the page content as well as putting the finishing touches on it. So uh, make sure to keep, keep, uh, keep up with this and uh, we'll be putting out more. And if you like this, make sure to check them out in the description, annotation, and cards. And as always, guys, I'll see you in the next video. Don't forget to like and share. Special thanks to our sponsor, Hacksaw Academy. If you're looking for project-based coding tutorials, make sure to check them out in the cards, annotations, and description below. 
Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share the video. And as always, I'll see you next time.